design parts truck that we use for the 60 rat rod build and uh, there's not much left of it but it never ceases to amaze me you know what we end up getting out of some of this stuff uh, you know when you think there's not a damn thing left on it then you end up using something it's a shame the back glass is busted we'd use that but here's one of the old doors and although it's bubbled and looks terrible I need that glass but I need a door glass too it doesn't look like I've got it I was sure hoping there was one in it nothing so uh, we're gonna have to try to hunt some of that up but see if I can get this uh, wind glass out we definitely need it all right okay we got it all pressure washed and got a uh, got our window in our little wind glass uh, still gonna look for some door glass I think the door glass from one side to the other is the same I'll have to check the other door I've actually got the passenger door too that was on that other truck so we'll check it but I don't know if the I think everything's inside this door to the regulator and everything but anyway this is what it looks like with it pressure washed and uh, you can tell it was red and it, the paint coat somebody had asked but the paint coat on this is an R so I'm assuming R for red and the top was white originally and uh, so I would say you know it was a, a pretty truck at one time and uh, anyway that's what she looks like cleaned up and plenty of patina for sure and let me see the bed I got it cleaned out and you know it's terrible I mean it's in terrible shape of course but you know I'm really surprised because this is probably the first truck that I have bought that was this old that didn't have either plywood wood a sheet of steel or something like that so the fact that what is there is in that good a shape is actually pretty surprising especially sitting with pine straw in it and uh, you know you can see it's curved down they could you know everything couldn't leak out so the fact that it didn't you know just completely rust away and be gone is surprising and I've walked through there so I mean it it's kind of strong enough to hold you anyway uh, you can see the holes of course on the other side of the, the truck it's a little better on this side it's kind of weird because you've seen in the pictures of where this truck was sitting in the field or at the edge of the field the left side here had all that mold on it had uh, well I say mold it was you know green grow growing on it whatever it was and uh, the other side didn't have it and then if you notice over here the bedside is not rusted out bad but it is there and one thing I think if you if you looked at it everything the wind seemed to be blowing everything on this side of the truck and uh, you know it blew the pine straw in the wind and everything I'm just wondering if maybe it blew the pine straw over to that corner or you know that side of the truck instead of this side and it's sitting and rusted but uh you know it sits so long in the same spot that it just uh it, you know sort of took on its environment i guess and uh sort of different anyway yeah inside it's actually still got some rubber floor mat in it and you know the floor is solid through there uh it was rusted out a little at the bottom and somebody had i don't know what this is it might be bondo old bondo of some kind they just stuck over top of it but you know again it is what it is and uh i'm just gonna leave what there of the rubber mat the seat the back of it's actually pretty decent the bottom of it's shot i think i've got an old blanket you know what we call mexican style blanket but uh i'll just throw it over the bottom of the seat and leave that and uh once it all dries out good i did pressure wash in here because uh yeah it was rough but anyway cleaned up a little better than i figured it would and uh we're gonna keep at it and play with it a little more uh i'm gonna go ahead and change out that transmission cooler and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the reason i'm gonna do that okay i had showed you before that it's actually got an air conditioning condenser in there for a uh transmission cooler but you know these lines look like they're quarter inch lines and they're going into a uh, three-quarter line and uh, 
I just can't uh, I can't imagine that that thing flows right. I mean, it's it's got to be restricting it. You know, anytime you get restrictions on a hydraulic system, which is all a transmission is, um, you start building heat, and we don't want that. So I'm going to change out that, and then I'm going to start getting the radiator put in, and uh, we're going to get something figured out on the gas tank. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to save this one. I doubt it. Uh, if you can see down that hole, it's, it's a lot of rust there. Let's see. I guess, the, you know, just pull it out and check it. I mean, there's not much more we could do, you know, just to, to see. I know I've got the other one out back. I, you know, I really don't want to use this style tank anyway, but, you know, we'll, we're going to do what we're going to do without spending any money. Um... Uh, uh, we may end up mounting one up under the, the truck. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and order the brake stuff for this. Uh, it's going to include new brake shoes front and rear, new wheel centers front and rear, new rubber lines. Well, one rear rubber line, two front rubber lines. And uh, we'll make the brake lines and we're going to put a new master cylinder on it. And getting that stuff through Rock Auto is about the cheapest. And we're probably looking at, you know, right around $200, maybe a little less, because I think it was $200 when I had to buy the clutch slave cylinder or clutch master cylinder and slave cylinder so maybe a little less than that but we're going to do the brakes and we're going to replace the whole brake system and we'll turn the rotors uh, repack the front wheel bearings and make that all mechanically right because there's no reason to you know there's no reason to half-ass brakes and uh, we'll get that get that right try to get it where it's running and driving maybe straightable and then uh, we'll see if we can Put it in somebody else's hands here okay uh show you more probably tomorrow bye